time I see something made, I just register it. Yeah. It's just automatic. I don't know what it is about me, man. I've been watching cooking shows since I was real little. I used to be an Emerald fan. <laughs> even when I was young. So even when yeah. I was like, like I said, nine years old, I was cooking. Cook. That's crazy, bro. I was cooking the wings for for Thanksgiving by like 12. You know what I'm saying? You got John Boy here? Uh, Thanks for telling me, son. Tell me. Hey, by, shit, by teenagers, you doing a whole meal, ain't it? Huh? Damn near. It's crazy, though, how most boys ain't introduced to cooking like that. You know what I'm saying? We were. My family, we all fat. So we like to eat. So, so, so everybody, everybody y'all family know how to cook. Everybody. That's crazy. Same. Everybody yeah? Yeah. I thought I am. I just don't, you know. It's, it's ain't me today. I Mom's y'all some cereals. Yeah, I shit up <laughs> real Mom's nice. used to, uh, yo, go in there and make the chicken, huh? Go in there, unthaw. You know that's the new yeah. thing. We ain't supposed to be saying unthaw. It's yeah. thaw. Oh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But black folks say unthaw. Been yeah. saying it. So, uh, yeah, send you in there. Go thaw it out. When it thaw out, this is what I want you to put on there. You be like, you want to put a spoonful? You ain't using no spoon. You supposed to look at it. Yeah, I come check it when it's done. That's how I start. My yeah. mother, yeah, she eggs. Like, up. I, I, yeah, it would be. You know, I set the. Uh, I started early, man. Let me Let, tell you hey, 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 hey. Oh, Let's start this. Oh, you started the show. <laughs> <laughs> again, again, again. Welcome hold back hold to the All In hold Show. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's it up, sir? Somebody getting called. We need a mute. Ah, let's get. it. Again, again, again. <laughs> Welcome back to the All In Show. Yeah. As usual, I am your host. That's me. Oh, the live? Yeah. Uh, appreciate it. Whoever that whoever is, we appreciate you. Just, just. We appreciate you. Just, so, right to Is that better? We ain't now. I ain't flipping. That's all right. We're going to cut it off now anyway. Oh, they talk. Chris said, uh, bro, Dusty, when I come on the show, no Buccaneers talk. <laughs> Sean, he called to help us out. Tamika talking, I can't see it. That's all right. Cut Stand it off. Note. Cut it off. Hey, we finna start this, man. Let's month. start the show. Yeah, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, leave it up there. You good? No, we need the audio for me. I just right, right, right. Just, just, case. just in case. Ass. You better work tonight. Oh, wow. It was a lot of people checking it out. Oh, really? How many you had on? I ain't look at it. I just seen a whole bunch of bubbles. I ain't expect nobody oh, really, good, you know. Good. Give him a little preview. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Hold on. Let me get my audio going. Because <laughs> you know, I use apps. Yeah. I use apps. I don't know if you. Go and get the question out the way. You know your favorite right. question. Oh, yeah. You got an iPhone or an Android? Android, man. I'm oh, man. Team. I'm got, team. Bro? Team Samsung. 2-2? Two, two? I right, finally tied. Okay, Trash. okay. Trash. Now you got your teammate today. Yeah, yeah, Samsung, yeah. Samsung. Usually out Trash. numbers. Samsung usually all day. All day, bro. All bro. day, man. I love it. I'm a faithful man. I'm a faithful fan. Welcome to the All In Show. Yeah. Yeah. Samsung, baby. Yeah. <laughs> I am your host, Hollywood Harwell. Yeah. And as usual, we got us the dopest DJ today. Yeah. He's still the dustiest and the brokest. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he got us the new table. Yeah. Check it out. Bro, Dusty, what's the deal? What's happening, my boy? 30 day ban, huh? You got you a teammate, bro. This my boy. I see. Yeah. yeah. I got the same type of phones and everything. All of that, bro. Hey, we got, got a flight, couple man. legends in. We got a Absolutely. legend in the back, legend yeah. in the front. The cooking show. The cooking hey, show. Man. I'm hungry, cook, ready. man. So I'm going to try to learn something today, <laughs> goddammit. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Up, we don't everybody? introduce legends. Hey, hey I'm right here. Right That's right. My it's name is, right is Alex, man. Alex Graves, uh, cousin Al. Uh, and, uh, Simply scrumptious, man. Yes. That dude, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. like to eat. Oh, That's God. me. AKA uh, hey, Mr. T-shirt. Hey, Mr. T-shirt. Hey, hold on, hold on. I got, I got. Hold on. What's <laughs> the flex? Saying, What's the it, flex, yeah. man? What's the flex today? <laughs> I don't have to. You know what I'm saying? I had to bring one out for the for the cooking show, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Angry yes, black sir. man. Yes, sir. Angry yes, black sir. man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Just, <laughs> appreciate you coming, man. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah so. man. You've been killing it online. We've been sharing your joint. I appreciate. And uh, as our other legend walked by, you want to introduce yourself while you walking? Chef folks. Chef 074. Yeah. <laughs> on Instagram. Yeah. Underscore. He ain't playing. Yeah. Uh, on TikTok. Uh, my business is uh, the Convertible Kitchen by Taste Incorporated. And I'm Jonathan Burton. 
Legend. For sure, my boy Bert. Well, while he back that chef yeah. with our it up, we're going to yeah. get you going, my dude. So uh, you've been doing this for a little while now, right? Man, a little while, man. I've been cooking all my life, essentially. Yeah. So yep, yep. when did you start cooking? Man, my, I guess my first memory of like cooking to the point where people were like, is he serious? Is this little boy cooking? I was right. in third grade. Man, Damn, and that's yeah, love. man. No, I can't <laughs> even lie. So my family, we had my 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 family. My father said, "Hosted the fish fry. We hosted it." Mm-hmm. And so you know, it was like you know, well, he's gonna do the grilling of the fish. I'm grilling catfish at third right. grade. I had the grill. That's so one of that's third like grade, man. Yeah. So the lady was like, family member. She was like, "Man, this catfish is so good. Who made it?" And so they was like, "He did." She looked at my father like. If you ain't want me to know who made it, like you ain't gotta lie, you ain't gotta right. put on this little boy. Yeah. And so, you know, my family steady, they was like, Yeah, Al, put, put some more fish out there. And she was like, You serious? That little boy just cooked the fish? That was the first memory. I was like, Oh, this isn't normal. So you, you know what seasoned it yeah. I season. seasoned it, I cooked it, man. Okay. I was out there right. running orders, a grilled catfish. Right. And uh and my family was we was we it wasn't abnormal for us, but yeah. other people was like, I didn't think that he was gonna put a nine year old on the grill. Right. Oh god. Yeah. That's oh man, it says stand up and show out. Yep. <laughs> you a cook? No. I can grill. <laughs> no. I can grill, <laughs> but that's it. That's all I can do. I'm a grill. You sound like Hobie on the Jay goes. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's all. You want Sweet. me to treat him like he a white man? <laughs> no. That, that ain't what I said. That ain't what I said. <laughs> <laughs> So was you ever nervous as a shorty cooking? Like eight, nine years old, that's young, bro. Man, no, you know what? I didn't, cause I remember cooking with my father, man. And my father was cooking, I would put the chair up to the stove and be standing in the chair yeah, and just kinda yeah. watch him do it. So no, I didn't have so no intimidation. Nah, no nothing. never. Hopped I never in there. Yeah, I just hopped yeah. in and just did it, man. That's love, bro. Yeah. So who inspires your style of cooking? Uh who or what? What the seasons okay. inspire my my style of cooking like you know what i'm saying i don't have a um particular um specialty in terms of 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 what i do i just i, just, I like to cook what's fresh i like to cook you know what i'm saying what's in season okay and i switch it up and i you know so we not a canned guy we ain't oh nothing. man never bro yeah. never no, i don't do the cans from yeah. scratch yeah. everything yeah i mean 90 percent of the times it's from it's from scratch it's yeah yeah yep yep okay what's up and uh so you said it was spices right so what are your favorite spices in the kitchen garlic garlic Garlic. Hands down, garlic. You, garlic goes in everything, man. Garlic goes in the water. Right. Garlic. <laughs> you got to yeah. Garlic yeah. <laughs> man, garlic. garlic water for the you, pasta. You got to have garlic, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so yep. what else we got? So garlic is key. Oh, uh, garlic, you know what I'm saying? Like you got your essentials, man. Garlic, pepper, seasoning salt, uh onion powder. Yeah, I was waiting for the color. Literally. That's one too. Goes on Everything, man. It's gonna make everything good. Ninety-five percent of every meal you make gotta have onion exactly. powder yep. and garlic powder. Yep. So you know he know what he doing. Yeah, and you tell people, you know, what I'm saying we frying chicken, you gotta put that in the flour <laughs> on the and on the chicken. Yeah. And low key, if you trying to if you trying to take your chicken to the next level, man, season that oil though. Man, drop a hot pepper in yeah, the oil, no bro. Oil. In the oil. Level, huh? Yep. Yep. So when you fry chicken, bro, right. yeah. Yep. I'm taking notes. I'm good. I'm he gonna be listening. rewatching the show. Like, yeah, season that oil. Yep. That's, that's hilarious. For sure. So, what is your favorite dish to prepare and cook? Man, um, I got a couple. I like, I like, man. I'm old school. I like salmon croquettes, man. Yeah, salmon croquettes. Oh, yeah. With the syrup on it. Yeah, man. That alligator syrup and a biscuit, bro. See, I ain't know. Uh, yeah. oh, croquette guy. Man. We don't know nothing about that alligator, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's that old school. Man. We old school, about right man. There. You do like you do like a salmon croquette sandwich, Shocking, but you bro. put on that biscuit, man. You do like a like a garlic cheddar biscuit. Yeah, that's it, huh? That salmon croquette sandwich, mm. a little syrup on that. You got bread. a video? On- I did one with crab cakes. I right. did so. I like. I did. I did crab cakes two different ways. Yeah. So okay. Yep. And what's the name of your show again? Oh, uh, Simply Scrumptious, man. Okay, yep. check them Simply out on YouTube. Simply Scrumptious, man. I'm going to put it at the bottom, hopefully, real soon. Oh, it's lacking, so I'm going to apologize. <laughs> <laughs> All the times I say I'm going to do it, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> but I'm going to do it, though. I'm going to work on it. I'm going to work yeah. on it. So was there ever a hard dish? Do you have a dish that's challenging for you still? Um, You know what? Like, like cooking is, is literally like experimentation, and it's, and it's artistry. So... What I'm getting into more now is like plating and like, you know what I'm saying, presentation. Yeah. But I'll taste some, and I, I made some stuff and be like, well, this was trash, bro. This was terrible. Because I'll usually follow the first time I, I make something, I'll try to 
follow a recipe if it's something I've never done. I look it up, I follow a recipe. And then after that, you know, you kind of add your own yeah, flair, you your own with. style to it. Like, okay, that was cool, but this is how I make it better. Yeah, right. So I've tried some stuff, man. Uh, so you rarely make things on your own first? No, no, I do, I do, I do. Okay. But if it's something, like, like literally, I'll be driving and I'd be like, I wonder what blankety blank with blankety blank would taste like. Like, you know what I'm saying? I just, it just kind of comes to me. And sometimes mm-hmm. it just comes naturally, organically. Other times I'll research. So, mm-hmm. like, I did like a stuffed lamb breast. And I had never, I don't know what, I literally woke up and was like, I want to do stuffed lamb. And I started researching. I'm like, lamb breast? I didn't know that lamb had teeth. Yeah. Like, right. you know, <laughs> how, how this going to work? Like, so I'm sitting like, how this going to work? And, and I made it, and it, 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 it came out good. Man, it came out good. I know now, I only made it one time. I know now what I would do differently, man. Because lamb is a fatty protein. That's right. Very yeah. fatty. Yeah. And uh, and I, I would do some different stuff with it. But. Okay. Is that another video you did? Yeah, it's posted, okay. man. Yeah, it's posted. Got it, got it, got it. So what is your least favorite dish to prepare and cook? I'm not a Do baker. Do you have a least? You know what? I'm not a baker. Okay. And okay. so so the thing about, like Same. I said, man, with cooking, you know how your mom and them say, like, put about this much, yeah. you know, flour, yeah. not too much, you know, a little, you know what I'm saying, put about this, not too much, about this much. So, you know what I'm saying, you can you can taste as you go, and you can figure it out, and you can be like, man, this worked, this didn't, it needs a little bit when baking. That's hard. It's got to be exact. Yeah. It's got to be exact, and you can't taste as you go because once you don't know what it's gonna be like till you come out that oven, come out, mm-hmm. yeah. and then you're like, man, I messed it up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I, I'm not a baker by all means. When I have to do, I usually try to outsource the baking part, baking stuff. Yep. Right, right, right. right. Yep. I'm with it. I see you, my boy. I see, Good. I see you. All right now. All right now. Sorry, we got interrupted by the current <laughs> chef. My apologies. It's cool. It's Chocolate. cool. <laughs> chef Oak. For sure. Yeah. I was just for the yelling. <laughs> okay. So what do you think sets your cooking apart from others? Um, if I would say what sets it apart, that's a good question, man. Um creativity. You know I what I'm saying? Like, like I just try to be creative. And sometimes people are like, man, like I've heard an insult, but I don't know if they meant it as an insult, but I took it as a compliment. Man, right. it's like, you a fool snob. Don't nobody be knowing that stuff you be talking about. I'm like, right. man, I, you know. Right. Get on track. Just, yeah, I'm like, yeah. you know, yeah. so yeah. I try to educate the peoples as I go along, man. I just, I'm with it. It's just being creative, man. That's what, um, and I, hey, I like to create stuff with people. Like, I'm like, man, what do you do? You know, what do you like? Right. And so even when I do my private events, Man, I ask people. I'm like, what you know? What are your taste buds like? You know, what do you, you know? Give me your flavor first, profiles. Yeah, flavor right. profiles. Give me, mm-hmm. give me your fave five. So, to people eat. who don't know what a flavor profile, yeah, because we got some fourth graders who watch our okay, show, okay, right? And they not, uh, they not as smart as a fifth yeah, grader because yeah. they're fourth grade. <laughs> so, explain us a little bit about flavor profiles. Man, flavor profiles is <clears> like you know, basically the taste that you like. You know, uh, as far as like seasonings and you know things of that nature, right? Uh, that. That you like. Some people like spices, and you know what I'm saying? You kind of go, your flavor, flavor profiles may right. be, you know. Sweet, tart. Sweet, tart. You know right. what I'm saying? Like you know, different palettes on your right. tongue. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Fatty. Exactly. Yeah. Yep. Those are probably the, the primary ones. Yeah, yep, yep. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. Yeah. So, what's your favorite profile? Uh, Man, you know what? Usually people put food Savory together. umami. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like that savory. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. So, yep. Umami for people who don't know, that's more like a mushroom. It's an earthier taste. Yep. But it has a salt. Yeah, bro. To it. Yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. So yeah. mushrooms uh-huh. or uh, soy sauce. These are flavors that when once you put that intense, that intense earth salty to the food, it brings out the yeah. rest of it. Yeah. Chinese food. Yeah. It's a prime example. Yeah. It's exact taste. And, and not all got that. Yeah. You ain't know it's, I do this. It's, it's, I do a lot, bro. Yeah, bro. It's high on that umami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But also, yeah. I like combining, man, because I'm thinking I like textures too. Like okay. textures, the, like I really enjoy them. I really dislike them. Like okay. I don't like mushy stuff. Okay. I, so I can't eat like pudding. Like I'm it's not a pudding fan. Disgusting to me. I just the, I see it. I'm like I can't eat that. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yogurt stuff like that. I don't. I don't. I don't care. Greek for yogurt. I can eat. I can't yeah. eat regular yogurt. Yeah, it's Greek it's, yogurt a little more firm. Yeah, but I like mixing different textures, crunchy and soft, and you know what I'm saying. But I also like uh, flavors like sweet and spicy. I think that's like so underrated, man. Sweet and spicy. Right. Sweet and spicy is you. Yeah, I'm with it. What's yeah, your flavor profile? Barbecue. That's sweet profile, and tangy. Profile, yeah, uh, yeah, probably sweet and tangy. A little spicy. Okay. Mild shit. I said my shit mild, bro. Yeah. So you don't like high, spicy? Not too, 
not too hot, bro. Right. But not too bland either. Yeah. You want your spice to bring out the flavor, just not a little, just a little be the main. Yeah. 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 Well, spice, spice. My thing with spice, man, is it should, it should complement the food, not take away. So when yeah. you get it, when you got it, like, <laughs> yeah, and that's what I'm saying. You, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Eat it. You like need some milk. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't enjoy the food. You can't enjoy the food because the spice is there. Yeah. I'm right before you need. You say you need the milk. Yeah. I want it right before that. Really? Yeah. Man, I want to look at you and blink while I'm eating it. Like, no, this ain't even that bad. You might as well right. yeah. season it. You might as well yeah. put I, hot shit. That's on. fine. I told you what. I, <laughs> so, so no, like anyone like, who know me will tell you. Yeah. Hot is my hot. thing. Really? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah man. Bro. Okay. Yeah, well, give me, tamale, hot give me sweet. flavorful hot, <laughs> what? flavorful but, hot, yeah, right. but not just hot because yeah, you ain't got hot, nothing hot. else to do with your time, man. That's so you know, you throw dinner parties. You yeah. know, I know a little bit more, okay. so I'm just gonna lead you into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you throw dinner parties. Can you tell us a little bit about your dinner parties? How they started? Okay. And uh, how the how the process usually goes for the dinner party once it starts? Man, it was a challenge. It was it was it was a challenge for myself. I, I said I threw it out there. You know what I'm saying? Like I believe in. You know, manifesting destiny and kind of speaking things, man. And and, and I said, man, I want to throw. Like, can we cuss on it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. All right, you know what I'm saying? All right, I was like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I'm gonna throw a dope ass party with dope ass food, just dope ass vibes. Like, we're just gonna vibe on the food with dope ass people. Right. And I just put it out there, and I kind of gave myself a year yeah. to do it. And literally, the post came up one day on your memories, and I'm like, I'm gonna do it. I just jumped out there. And what I do my dinner parties, man, it's um, the first one I did, I did seven courses. Mm. Yeah. So it's seven courses. It was a secret location. So, you know, people, you know, you get on the list, they they register for it. I'm dropping hints along the way. Yeah. Um, and another and what another thing that inspired me was dinner and blanc. I got a chance to go to dinner and blanc. I gotta cut you off to set you up real well though. Dang. This ain't for our chicken tender eaters. No. This ain't for somebody who on boneless wings. No. Nah. This for somebody who wanna open their palate. And try something new. Yeah, this yeah. ain't a ten dollar dinner you buy here. We talking a seven course meal. Yeah, I can tell you my man. So, so, so the first one I, I did, gotta man, my fat I did, <laughs> I did it, I did it at a. Uh, it was a mystery location. Nobody knew what it was. Right. And it was my first one. I was nervous, man. But it was all about uh, Mediterranean flavors. So everything was Mediterranean food. Got so it. I did, you know, sea bass, and I did. Uh, lamb and I did like I did a pomegranate molasses glazed lamb like you know what I'm saying just different stuff yeah, man yeah. and it ended up I had it at a uh, at a mansion which I lucked up on man and I was nervous because the venue I was supposed to have kind of fell through like a couple days before and I'm sweating like these people have paid me like, yeah. how are we gonna do it and a miracle happened man I was able to do it at this nice house man I had it was just always the people know certain things but they don't find out the location until 24 hours before and then I always give them a surprise if they don't know Right. So the last one I had, I had live music. I had a music artist. Um, I did one. Who was the um, artist? Uh, her name is KB Evans. Shout out to KB yeah. Evans. Yeah, a lot of shout out. Yeah, man. And she, I'm gonna write you at the bottom of yeah. it. I promise. I did. I did one at a. So I did one at a cabin for the for the fall. One. Right. It was at a cabin, man, and we had uh, music under the stars out there. We was on a tributary where the Iroquois yeah. River and the Kankakee River meet. Mm -hmm. So nobody knew where it was. I just yeah. gave. I just dropped them a hint like it's in Kankakee County. That's it. And they were like, and then. Dropped the address and people was nervous. You know, yeah, like where is this yeah, spot at? And yeah. then when they saw the venue, man, it was just so so dope. And then I just had you know the courses, man. It was and it was it was a, it was a I wonderful seen the experience. Pictures, bro. Yeah. It was dope. Yeah. It was dope. I know you hit me up to come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when you was like, yeah, you told me the to plate. He was like, bring the homies. He was like, I got a lot of ladies. We need some homies. Yeah. I was like, uh, my homies. And they was there, man. The plate. <laughs> they was there. And, and the thing but is, but the like, next time we in the building, yeah, we in yeah. the yeah. And open my thing is open your mind, bro. Like like you said, the thing is, uh, a lot of people are so used to chicken fingers and catfish nuggets, bro. and you know what I'm saying, and, and everything is you know what I'm saying, <laughs> pork chops. You know what I'm saying, you yeah. know? and I'm like, man, that's good. Yeah. So I'm not saying you know what I'm saying, don't eat those. Parker things. House like, sausages. Hey, man, I love some Parker House sausages but regularly though. Scott yeah. Peters. Hey, look, and Scott, Scott Peters. Peters. Scott Peters. Peters. Look, what you mean? bro. I went and visited my yeah. man's now. Down in Dallas, bro. Yeah. He had cases in the freezer. That's what he had. Uh, I was like, look at him. Oh, Scott Peterson's or oh, yeah. the Park House? Oh. Scott Peterson. Down <laughs> there, they call Earl Campbell's. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Scott Peterson don't sell out of the Midwest. Scott P. Selling Texas. <laughs> <laughs> man. man. But yeah, I mean, you know, it's open your mind up, open your experience up, open your palate up right. to try some different stuff because you might find out you really like it. Because, so, you know. So. Agreed. That's how you get yeah. to. Oh get to grow. Yeah. You never know till you. You Remember, never we know till you grow. Yeah. You ain't had no choice anyway. What was on the yeah. plate? Sit down and eat. Don't get up till you, Man. Till you got and a happy you, plate. Bro, what, you, what you know about it? I'm going to tell you one thing. One thing I don't eat 
and I can't eat it, canned tuna. Okay. Yeah. I would rather starve man, than God eat hot like dogs no. or canned tuna. And I got such a horrible memory, man, from being at a babysitter, man. And she made tuna casserole and had green peas in it. Mm. And I remember sitting at the table, and she was like, you're not going to get up from this table until you green eat it. Green peas in the tuna? And I literally was like, I'm chilling in. You know what I'm saying? Like, do what you got to do. I'm not, I can't eat that. Yeah, so, like, like, yeah. My mama. <laughs> bro, bro. I'm going to have to take it. Yeah, I, yeah <laughs> man. I took a whooping. Like I took a whooping as a kid over beets. Mm. Really? I put beets on my plate. I thought it was cranberry sauce. And I was like, man. Ooh. It sent you off, didn't it? Man, she was That's like, earthy. I can't eat it. Man, still, beets. I still, I still don't like beets, man. man I still man. don't like them. Shout out to Denise Smith. You got to juice them? That's what it is? Got to juice them. Uh, so I was going to say, go to go try Denise's shop yeah. at the mall. Bro. Is that the, Man, I've been hearing about that spot, bro, man. I got to check them out. got a beast drink, bro. You won't even taste the beast. Really? It's yeah. fire. Man, yeah. I know beast got so much, man, help. It do. My juice. I do. own a juice. You can borrow my juice yeah. and try it out. Man. Yeah, so, man. I just, man. You go to Jules. Shout out to anybody who don't know this. You go to Jules. You get the loose ends. You get them for like 89 cents a pop. So for like two dollars, you can make you know thirty two ounces for a couple days in a row yourself. Man, that's you one of the juices, and, Denise. and it tastes real good with watermelon. So you buy one watermelon for five bucks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that'll set you up but for some juices for the day. All that. Go to Denise. Go to Denise. Denise. Go to Denise. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah for we sure. Yeah, try it though for real, though. And so for your regular day job, right? Yeah. Because even though you're a dope chef, you also have your nine to five. Yeah. You're a teacher, correct? Correct. Yeah. Okay. okay. Why did Black you become a educated. teacher? Yeah. It's very rare. Yeah, man. Uh, man, they need to see us. They yeah. need to see us in the classroom. Uh, I didn't have my first black male teacher until high school. Mr. Hayes. Uh, shout out, Mr. Hayes. Shout out, Mr. Hayes, okay. wherever you are. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's not enough representation, especially for black males, to yeah. see other black males. And sometimes they need to see you true. connect differently. And plus, I, I love to learn... Um, I just always loved learning, man. I was the weird kid that actually right. liked to read. You, you know sitting at the right table. Oh, yeah, God. yeah. I'm like, I'm like, this is enjoyable here. Right. Like, what do you right. mean? Like, you know, the, reading was not a punishment. You know, right. uh, punishment was you can't have that book. I'm telling you, like, man. oh, <laughs> yeah. but I gotta find out what happens. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. Uh, Did you, you a book you'd have read it in the first three or four man, days yeah. on you library day. class. Like, back what's in, next, man? Yeah. Back in the day, the book man. Fan? Book fair? What? Really? Man, you at the, the flex? book orders? Bro, we, man. Come on, man. Man, I used to bring that catalog home from school, like, ma. And I'd be yeah. circling, like, circling you know what I'm saying? Ones they, these <laughs> ones, can we please get right. these? Yeah, yeah. Man. No, no, you good, bro. I was trying you to see how, long, how much longer yeah. you got. Smoke that number yeah. on that wall. That's you got a while? Nah, that's dope. About done? Uh, look at you. My yeah. man is done. I'm so, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we good, we good. What are some of the difficulties you face as a teacher? He just checked it. No, you good, bro. He just checked it. Did he? he did? Damn, well, I'm everywhere. Shout, what out, are the shout out to the. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the difficulties you face uh, as a teacher? Uh, man, I tell you this: COVID messed people up. Yeah. And one of the, I mean, we, we was messed up before that. I, I can't lie, like to say this ain't new, but right. I'm saying added to it in in terms of man, when COVID hit and they closed the school, they really nobody knew what. The world was like we all right. thought the world was coming. Like, was Lord, is it Lord? Is it is it you? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So we didn't really know, and so you know how it messes up with education, man. We made education almost like optional, yeah. and we and technology, right? So we we put the computers in front of the kids, and then we stopped that one to one interaction interaction yeah. with kids, and so now that they're back and we're trying to get some semblance of of normality with that. A lot of kids have lost their educational fire. Really, and they're just kind of like, I'm. I don't really. No, nah, I'm good. No, thank you. You know what I'm saying? Looking at you know, <laughs> you know, education yeah. is optional, right? And I don't want to do that. You can't make me do it. There's no consequence for it. Why do I need to know this? So I try to always make education relevant and right. try to attach it. You know what I'm saying to something that's that's current. So that I'm like, there's a reason why you need to know this. Like you know what I'm saying? We were talking about propaganda. And, and we're reading something that, that took place in the 60s and the 70s. And so there's a disconnect for them because they're like, well, that's, that was back when the dinosaurs were alive. Like, they really think the 60s yeah. was like back when, when yeah, yeah, man, it, when Harry Ancient. Tubman was around. I'm like, no, like your timeline is way off. Right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right, right. But I had to show them some current ads, some current events with propaganda and what's going on with our current political climate right. and say this is why you need to know this because you're fed propaganda images all the time right. you need to know and be able to identify it you know what I'm saying right. and so 
that's hard. Making education not only relevant, but engaging and 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 life changing. Like like I think everybody remembers that one teacher. Man, you know I got what I'm saying? That was on. like yeah. man, when I was in Miss Jackson class, man, yeah. she didn't play no games, but oh, we God. learned a whole lot. Man. So, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I I wanna be that for somebody, you know what I'm saying? Where somebody's like, man, but when I was in Mr. Gray's class, he did teach me, you know, and I remember that. So for sure, for I'm sure. sure you got some hilarious stories, but we ain't gonna put nobody kid so out there. <laughs> I guess so many. You, you still but after the show, I'm ready to hear. <laughs> make sure I throw that Man. out there. So, what is the most satisfying thing about teaching? Man, when you get for, a couple things. One, you got the, the yeah, the, with them graduations. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Man, if you ever want to get almost teary eyed. Man, them kids that you was like, man, I'm, we gon' we gon' see what it do. Like we, we yeah. fingers crossed, right, you know. Right, and yeah. you go to the graduation, you see them, you know, graduate, and you like, then they come find you and they're like, man, it's great, and they hug you, <laughs> or you see them, you know, yeah, I know, you or you see them, you know, even past graduation, like you know, like sometimes when the teach when the kids will email you from college, like I try to make that connection, and sometimes I'm like, man, let me know where you going to college. And I'll shoot you an email every now and again just to check on you. Yeah. Just you know, like we we rooting for you, man. Can't yeah, keep rooting dope. for you. You know what I'm saying? That's so dope. so when they when they remember it, mm-hmm. like I teach my kids a poem. Uh, when things go wrong, they sometimes we're on the road to trudge and some dollar bill. When the funds are running, that's high. When you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When life is pressing down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. Like I make them learn it. I'm gonna have you know? him email me yeah. that. I'm, gonna, it. I'm yeah. gonna try to post it at the bottom. Oh, soon. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna try to yeah. post it. <laughs> but I, 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 I make them learn it. I'm like right. y'all, and so I so I'm like every morning we gonna start our day. We gonna say this poem. I'm like we don't quit. And so when they remember and they come back and email, Miss Grace, remember that poem you taught me? Right. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. So like, I love, I love to hear it back. That's that's that's, that's, that's satisfying. Yeah, yeah. That's Shout real out satisfying. Teachers, man. So knowing what you know now, um, to how long you been teaching? Other than that, I uh, ten years, man. Ten years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Folks, yeah. right. you know, ten years. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So knowing what you know now, ten years in, would you do it all over again? Would you go back into the <laughs> <teacher> field? <laughs> Man, they gonna have to give us some more money, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, what I'm saying like, 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 y'all, teachers man, are definitely. Y'all don't want me to go into the field. That's that. a whole, bro. Yeah, yeah. I got y'all yeah. next show, man. Yeah. Get you some teachers in here. Get you some aspiring teachers, mm-hmm. some current teachers, and some old school yeah, retired my teachers. Man. Teacher 30 and years for both sure. of them. And, yeah. and yeah. see, man, because it's a thankless job. You don't want us to bring our bro. Oh, geez, don't on man. I'll bring them on because because man, they'll tell you, man. Like like like, I mean, for real, for real. Yeah. Bro, it's a it's a field, and I'm not down on my profession, but it's a field that's built upon volunteerism. Okay. Where else, you know what I'm saying? Anybody else? Once you give, you get off Put at the four. Together and hit us up, bro. You shot. get off at four o'clock. Yeah. You off. You go home. You you do your you, education. The full expectation is once you get off. Now you got to set up for tomorrow, yeah, yeah. and you got to grade papers, grade papers, and you got to call parents, and you have to do another couple hours of work. And right. ain't no time sheet to submit to be like, man, I worked until. 11 o'clock right, right. You know what I'm saying So it's unsustainable Like, like that's why so You see so many people Leaving the field man oh, yeah. I, I, You already know On social media yeah. man You know I, I got my silly side And then I got my serious side man mm-hmm. And I kept saying I said the next great exodus Is going to be In the field of education yeah. Because it's thankless And people can go Someplace else And make, make Triple What they make in this field yeah. right. And the field And the, the payment Is so subjective To where you live You live in a poor community So now you have to be poor and you only making right. this this much because yeah. you don't live in an affluent community. And it's crazy because you consider a state employee, right? Yeah. Yep. So as a state employee, you hear shout out to Shapiro. You hear how shout Shapiro out. making money. You hear how people who work at County Hall make money. You know, police officers are making a decent wage. Then you turn around and the people who are shaping the next next We're level. Teaching of, them how yeah. to do that. None of those professions would be without a teacher. They teaching them how to do that, bro. Yeah. What you making for us today? Oh man, so okay, so today, man, I'm make because you know you got your dietary restrictions. I'm I trying to be accommodating, <laughs> man, <laughs> man. I'm doing Caribbean uh, curry, coconut curry shrimp. Oh, yeah. Right. I'm okay. doing some red snapper too because I just brought I just bought some fish last minute. Cause I'm like, right, let's see what the rest. Yeah, let's go. You know, let's so get it. yeah, that's what we got for you. So we appreciate you coming on here, yes, brother. Sir. Yes, sir. It's your yes, turn. Sir. Go ahead yes, and hit the kitchen. Yes, sir. All right, I'll see and, you. And uh, we gonna once uh once you done. We'll go ahead and do a taste while we're doing a taste test. We'll do a group conversation. I know you all like right. to stay on uh, current events oh, on, man, on social media. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, all that, all we got that, a couple of them on that. Right. Right. <laughs> you know what you want. Yes, sir. All right, all right, bro. Cut this up.